so I'm curious to know, like, to what extent this body of work was inspired by the fact that we're in the middle of a pandemic and the whole world is, in fact, in pandemonium. It made me think about having to deal with uh, sparse materials available. There was also a sense in the artist community, I think, that things were slow. Now, most of the stuff that I've done uh, in, in its entirety is latex. Up, up until a year ago, I was able to get some really interesting colors and, and textures that uh, set it apart from some of the stuff that I'd done before. Did you feel that in shifting from the city to the country, that that also informed what your paintings look like? There is a difference in the type of figures I use. There's a more of a focus on uh, individuals that have sort of defined body shapes, colors, abstract, and figures, but figures that were different from human beings. How have you processed this change uh, that the world is going through in terms of human relationships? I have been, probably been exposed to a broader range of people working in either you know, directly in this subject matter or on the periphery. There's a real sense, I think, of protecting the terrain, which is, I think, a good thing, but it's also something that you know, has, has to go somewhere. And the desire to paint, is, 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 for me, is as strong as it was uh, initially. And I, I had to sort of think more about how I'm going to sort of approach a certain set, set of issues than where one or two years ago I would have been a more broadly interested in a range of issues. I think the stuff you'll find uh, is more focused on uh, power dynamics in relationships between groups in society. I've also had to sort of deal with the fact that my disabilities is, level of disability is increasing. Right. So I have to be you know, mindful of the fact that I can't uh, uh, whack myself out with back-to-back you know, -back, two or three days in a row. To what extent do you think that uh, having this this purpose, this drive to paint, or feeling that it's a purpose, has uh, affected the course of your illness. It would be more of a challenge if I wasn't, you know, able to or interested in dealing with things outside of the sort of the painting. Right. Um, so there's, there's no doubt that uh, the two things, sort of the painting and, and my regular stuff that I used to do, the, the, the one that comes to mind most quickly is music. Um, I was never a sort of a real musician. Since uh, the last two years, I've been teaching myself piano. Oh, wow. And uh, I've joined a uh, choral group of uh, folks in Toronto. I've taken a harmonica everywhere that I go. <laughs> um, and so I've been playing it, you know, hours a week. And I really enjoy that. And, uh, and it's something that is complementary to new stuff. I often see uh, shapes and colors. When I'm playing my music. Do you find the two kind of dovetail? Like if you have, if you spend some time playing the piano, do you then does it then inspire you to feel like? Do you feel like painting afterward? Yeah, definitely. Try to put my thoughts into colors or, or shapes. It's, it's wonderful to be able to do that. One thing I'd like people to understand is that uh, I am just uh, you know one person out there doing work. You can derive a lot of pleasure uh, from the, the act of. Being an artist, um, I cringe when I hear people say that. Well, I, you know, I've never been, I've never drawn a line, or, or I've never filled in color, or uh, spent, you know, its time in as a sort of a reverie of, of music. It's, a, it's something that we can all uh, take advantage of. I just wonder if you could tell me a little bit about the title of the exhibit, calling it Pandemonium. I was thinking in terms of relationships between institutions of authority. Mm. And uh, and what happens to them when they uh, when they retain their responsibilities but go off the rails? I think mm. that we have to sort of spend more time thinking about the opportunities that this thing has presented to to us. The, the fact that it exists gives us uh, an opening for making some type of a different type of symbolic speech. Things that we would not have spent much time working on or thinking about. Yeah. That's a good message.